All right, wireless connection. And it says here, I have a HP Pavilion laptop long range wireless issue. If I get closer to my modem, I have, will have a strong connection. But if I move like five feet away from the modem, the connection will be very weak or lost. I have tried to update the driver, but still having the same issue. Now, here is my question to you actually is, is it just for the laptop that you're having issue or other devices are also having issues? Now, if it's just a laptop itself, you've done the right thing where you, you know, install, you know, or update the driver like you've, like you've done here. It says, I have tried to update the driver, but still having the same issue. What you could do is try to install an older driver. And it's from the same place we just looked at from the device manager. You would just find your wireless adapter and you would install it. Uh, let me see here. Well, I might as well pull it up again. So I'm going to pull up device manager. This is not under admin, so I'm going to have uh, limitations here a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I can run it as admin if I wanted to. Well, let me do that, I guess. I'm not going to be lazy, guys. I'm not going to be lazy. Dev MGMT dot MSC. So if you search for that, you can right click and run as admin. There it is. So, uh, let me minimize this here so we can see it a little bit better. Network adapters, and here is my wireless PCI adapter. You can uh, update the driver through here, but you can also roll back if you have a different, older version of the driver to see if that works. But since it since it never since it has never worked, excuse me, you may not have a you know rollback driver that's available. But what I would do is try to get a different or maybe older version of that and make sure it's compatible with your version of the operating system. So if your computer, uh, if your computer has updated to newer version, so if you type in win V E R in your search box and just hit enter, you get a windows version of what your operating system is. So in this case, here's the window version, Microsoft windows, which is windows 10 uh, version 21 H two. And then there's the OS built in, uh, in, uh, in a lot of cases, there is an option to actually pick which version of the uh, driver or windows 10 you have. And I'll show you this right now. So let me just go to Google HP pavilion drivers. So I'm just going to pick one. I don't know which one you specifically have, but I'm just going to look for that and I'm just going to get to the point where I can download drivers and show you uh, what you can do here and a lot of people actually don't know this wow their website is down for this okay HP uh, drivers and downloads uh, I'm gonna say pavilion I wish I knew what your model was did I spell that correctly HP pavilion Pavili, I, I spelled it correctly, didn't I? Well, let's do a copy paste. Pavilion. Something wrong with their website. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, let's do this here. HP Pavilion. We're just gonna pretend like we know which one it is. Let's do X three sixty. I don't know what that is, but just to get us to the point where we can download drivers. All right, here we go. Software and drivers. I hope this is working. It's kind of acting like it's not working their website. I'm clicking on it, as you can see. Oh, well, there it is. Okay, so here is where you would select your operating system. So if you see under number two right here, right? It says select your operating system. In, in this case, there is no other option, but if you would... Uh, have you see it is how there's like Windows 10 version 1903 and we looked at the Windows version over here which was excuse me when VER we can see that the version is 1904 right now you know again I've seen it where you can have multiple versions of operating system it would even say version 21 H2 or 20 0 H1 or something like that so you see if you can pick the correct version of your operating system and, and pick that driver to install. Okay, that might that might help you. 
Now, if the issue is with your router, where every every computer is kind of slow, then you know there might be some kind of an interference. And for that, let's go to. So here is my router, my AT&T router within here, and AT&T uh, router doesn't have this. Uh, it, there will be possibility of changing the uh, frequency and in this case we have two frequencies enabled first one is 2.4 gigahertz right this is the uh, slower standard this is 802.11b and uh, some of the other ones too but then here is the 5 gigahertz this is the 5g that people are talking about now make sure that one is enabled just in case and then test okay make sure they're both enabled just like it is here and then if you had a custom firmware installed you can uh, basically increase the signal strength which could help you this doesn't have it this is AT&T box right this is an AT&T modem it doesn't have that option and then you can also change at which frequency it's running uh, so meaning that Hertz range for the channels and this I'm, I'm sorry but this one <laughs> doesn't have it I'm directly now connected to the AT&T driver without having my own without using my own router but it would be an option in here, probably under networking and this and that. It's not in here and this is restricted, which is fine by me. So, you know, one thing, as a matter of fact, I'm going to start typing in. So first thing, I'm going to say hello. This is Irvin with PC, PC support. If you're thinking about long range wireless issue your step one uh, download driver from HP website for your exact OS version step two and um, w for step two you know make sure that 5 GHZ Wi-Fi is enabled in your router slash modem. Step through, step through, step three. Uh, what did I say? You could check hmm, if it's custom firmware. You could do this. Let's do step three, as in. Uh, try changing the Wi-Fi signal channel frequency come on okay here we go signal channel frequency so this will basically what that does Wow, I'm terrible at spelling today. What this does is make sure that you are running on a frequency that's not using, used by other Wi-Fi's or other things in your house. Let's say you have one of those, you know, standard uh, five gigahertz phones, like you know, wi wireless phone, like a home phone, you know, not like your smartphone or anything like that. So basically, to change the channel frequency is to basically make sure that you're signal channel is separate from other frequencies so make sure you know you change it to something odd and that um, something that's unlikely being used by something else and then four if you have the option you can change signal strength inside the router Of course, you know, check to see if you're having issues, if, the, if you're having the same issue with other, uh, other uh, machines, other computers on your Wi-Fi. And I think I'm going to leave it at that because there are, some, there are a couple of other things that may not be related. Like, for example, you know, you could just have a bad Wi-Fi adapter built in. You could you know get a different USB one I guess and, and try that so that might be the issue 
I, I don't know. There might be something blocking. Let's say you go to a room that's for some reason blocking the signal. That could be the case too. I don't know. But I'm assuming you already checked all of these things. And I'm just going to save it and send you that notification.